I'm Mark Camosio, Gunmark TV. This is one of the quite exciting range from FX. Now obviously they are one of the most innovative, um, fast moving sort of air gun brands on the market. And the Dreamline is, um, I thought it was gonna be a, a fairly basic model in the range, but of course the way they've moved, um, an awful lot of their models now are tweakable and adjustable more sort of aimed I'd say at the, at the experienced shooter but the technology on board is something that you if you don't want to play with it you don't have to and you've got um, you know a very high quality rifle anyway and that but they're sort of uh, I think they often use the word in their marketing modular and of course that means you've got a great product um, to start you can use it as it is but if you choose to you can add add and take away bits and there's you know there's a lot to these which we'll go through so um, the FX Dreamline, obviously you've got your synthetic soft touch stock. You've got an adjustable butt pad, obviously there, great feature. Ambidextrous stock, so you've got a cheap piece either side. Very nice slimline sporter, everything's really comfortable and probably more geared to hunting than anything else. So starting at the top, now I'll show you the, obviously it's the probe style of charging and you've got a nice neat dust cap there so that revolves round <clears throat> you've got a pressure gauge or manometer at the front that relates to the main cylinder pressure or another one on the side which is relates to your regulator pressure now these guns are regulated we'll, go, we'll mention a bit more about that in a minute so um, staying with the muzzle here you've got uh, a thread underneath there so that'll take a half inch UNF um, silencer with the same compatible fitting. It's a shrouded barrel. It's a very nice um, signature on, on the muzzle here. And it does actually, the lot that there's, the way it's it's rigged up, it does actually dissipate the, the air uh, to the pulse as it fires. And it's it gives it a nice tone. It completely takes the harsh notes off. And so it sort of a, acts as a semi-silencer or first stage silencer. But as I say, you can add on another one if you want. Floating barrel technically there within the shroud. <clears throat> now, very nice side, um, side lever. So you've got, um, and FX have done these really well for so long, but it's it's the, one of the slickest systems. I won't cock it for now, but obviously it's a multi-shot. You get a magazine system, and again, we'll show you that in a moment. Um, side lever action, so when your mag's all in, in play, you're just as fast as you can cock that, cock and load, you're cycling the mag. It's so smooth, really. There's very little effort to cock it, and it's very smooth got a manual safety catch there so you're just snapping that all really neat and it's exactly where you want it for your thumb so that's great very nice trigger unit i have to say so i must stop using the word nice but it is it's it's difficult to describe it as anything else it's it's, it's a lovely trigger you've got an adjustable blade you can metal trigger guard as well the magazine is is the one that they've used on the crown mod 22 shots on that so we'll show you that in a moment now as i say with the regulator system they're calling it the AMP that stands for adjustable match precision and again you can tweak the regulator on this in conjunction with actually switching the barrel it's got this has the obviously FX are well known for the smooth twist barrel process this has what they call the STX barrel and that is it's actually got a, an interchangeable barrel kit so they use a liner and then you can switch the liner for either different calibers or uh, twist rates of the rifling I, I can't help thinking it's more aimed towards the, your FAC users, but it's it's a great feature to play with, and it will appeal to a lot of enthusiasts. Um, on the test, I was getting about 11.3 foot pounds with this on high power. Now you do have a power adjuster system, so set on high. I say I'm getting about 11 and a half. You've also got you got medium and low now. Going by my test rifle, there wasn't an awful lot of difference. I've got to say when I switched it to medium, low. With Air arms diabolos below 7, 780 um, on high and then it's about 575 on the low pressure. If you dial down the power you're going to get so many more shots. Um, you know that's obviously how it works so it's, it's, it is a great feature if you're shooting indoors you don't need high power you want to get a lot more shots. Uh, it, it's, you've got that it's, it brings versatility in itself and it's, it's something else to play with. But you have, as I say, you've got adjustment on the valve flow, hammer tension, and the reg pressure. So there's an awful lot of adjustment with these guns. But uh, yeah, let's look at that. First of all, let's look at the magazine system. This first one originated on the Crown model, and 
we've already obviously filled this one but i'll just show you the system it's unusually large i mean the downside of that is it does create a bit a, a bit more height on the scope rail on your split scope rail so you've got to then be uh, you need correspondingly high mounts but as for use you know if you're out in the field 22 shots here in 177 obviously that that number varies on the caliber but 22 shots is huge so you you can just load up and know you've not got to touch a pellet again for the probably for that for that journey so it's great i'll just show you the basics on this now you've got this new style mag the whole front comes off so you twist that bar around till it corresponds lift off your top now if this was empty i'd then wind round anti-clockwise that internal drum against a little bit of spring pressure if you're used to magazines you'll fully be okay with this so you wind it round, hold it at the point and drop your first pellet in that holds that against that stops the uh, drum from spinning and then you fill every aperture and once you've done that you replace that lid line it up and then that locks in place like a half moon so it's at the uh, bottom end that's all ready to go in so now we'll just load up we're all nearly ready to go so basically you bring back the lever cock the action very little effort there this there's a bit more throw on that just as a, an observation but a lot bit more throwback than a lot of models but the effort is really easy and this now you can see the the magazine comes in from an angle which is i found slightly irritating because it's only held in with a o-ring on the front of the magazine which creates the tension so the fact is on a down angle um, i have had one of these where the o-ring came out so it's a little bit of a fragile design um given that it's fx but once in i'm nitpicking maybe probably be unlucky for that to come out but it's in use once it's in place and you've closed that lever you've now cycled and you're ready for your first shot so let's see a few shots go I mean that is incredibly fast if you're doing a speed shoot um, you know it'd be great fun it's so silky smooth very reliable system you can feel the engineering in these the FX have come a long way I've been testing air guns for years and you, there's a notable difference now in the quality of FX and that yeah they've they've they're sort of the masters of the side lever uh, everyone else is, is on the um, on the case now but they you know that they've got that design down to a t but yeah there's a hell of a lot to these rifles but as i say don't be scared of the technology side of it that is all there if you want it and if you want to push those parameters but if you don't what you've got straight out of the box is one hell of a sporting air gun yeah pretty versatile i mean you could compete in hft with these you probably want more of a single shot um, aspect you could you can get a shot in there single load but it's probably designed for hunting but it's it's a it's a lovely rifle that's the fx dreamline classic